हाय माय नेम इज अनवय जोशी एंड माय टीम मेंबर इज अली असगर अतार एंड वी आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ ऑफ क्रिस्टू ज्योति कॉन्वेंट स्कूल उज्जैन मध्य प्रदेश एंड अवर प्रोजेक्ट मेंटर इज मिसेज शोभा शिंदे मैडम एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड एंड हैप्पी एज वेल टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर सेलेक्टेड इन अटल इनोवेशन मिशन स्पेस चैलेंज विच वॉज इन कोलेबरेशन विद इसरो एंड सी more than 6500 students in form of 2500 teams participated in this challenge in which 75 teams were selected from all over india so let me explain you about our project for this atal innovation mission we have decided to receive and interpret weather satellite data so how is it possible for us to get the satellite data let me explain there are many satellites in the sky overhead but we are going to receive data from oceanic and atmospheric administration satellite that is called noaa satellites there are three satellites that can be received in analog form and they are noaa 15 18 and 19 these satellites are low earth orbiting satellites and have a polar orbit they have an altitude of 800 km from the earth's surface they transmit the data in the form of apt that is automatic picture transmission which is in the form of telemetry data the frequency of these satellites are in vhf that is very high frequency noaa 15 frequency is 137.6200 megahertz noaa 18 frequency is 137.9125 megahertz and noaa 19 frequency is 137.1300 megahertz and the change in the frequency are observed due to phenomena called doppler effect in which when a radio frequency emitting device travels at a very high speed and the ground station experiences a shift of frequency of dozens of kilohertz due to the curvature of earth now what is our radio receiver it is chosen to be an sdr that is software defined radio and why is it so it is because the bandwidth required to receive apt transmission is approximately 34 kilohertz but most of the communication receivers are limited to 6 kilohertz 15 kilohertz of bandwidth and not more than that so they can't receive full data now how we will get the signal of the satellite for that we need an antenna but it should be cheap and on the other hand it should also serve the purpose so we tried making some of the antennas but they were not performing as needed and also were catching other noises so then we decided to make an v dipole antenna because it is horizontally polarized and will reduce the vertically polarized radio stations and other broadcasts by 20 dv this antenna was made two times because At first time this antenna was made with a thin wire so it was having less bandwidth so was performing less efficiently for other frequencies considering doppler effect so an other antenna was made using the same dimensions but with an aluminum pipe and it gave a higher signal gain as well as higher bandwidth because rf travels on the skin of the conductor not inside it and it is called as a skin effect applicable for higher frequencies and the cost of building this antenna was only 50 rupees so now this is the time for the final reception of the data we placed the antenna in north to south direction because these are south bound satellites and only travel from north to south or south to north and the antenna was placed at a height of 3 meter from the ground that is from our roof because at this height the antenna gives appropriate radiation pattern so how we will come to know when the satellite is in our coverage range so for this we are using an open source application look for sat to check whether the satellite is in our coverage range or not
Now we need to decode this audio. So for that we are using an open source software called WX2 IMG which gives an output like this. Yes, it is a black and white image. But using some complex methods such as multispectral analysis, this black and white image can be converted into a colorized image. Also with the data available, we can see the vegetation areas, the sea and the precipitation areas etc. The data can be received anywhere by using this simple dipole antenna. This antenna can be carried to any place very easily. It can receive data directly from satellite without internet. It is very cheap and affordable as well. It can be used to predict and track tropical storms and hurricanes as we also captured Shaheen cyclone images with our setup. It can be used to monitor Earth's condition also. We would also like to thank our principal sister Merlin and other staff for their constant support and inspiration.